Hello, Nat here. Let's take a look at what's been making news. Today is Are You OK Day, a day that reminds us to check in on each other. Here's Liv. We ask our mates all sorts of questions. So what do you have for recess? What are you going to do this weekend? So you're going to play some basketball. But how often do we ask them, are you OK? It's something experts reckon we should do more, especially during this whole global pandemic thing when a lot of us might be feeling a little less chipper than usual. This year's Are You OK Day message is there's more to say after Are You OK? Things like, I'm here to listen, and what can I do to help? You don't have to be an expert. You've got what it takes. This is about caring for someone in your world. Listen, but listen non-judgmentally. Let them speak. Maybe say something like, oh, please tell me more, or um, how's that making you feeling? So, how do you guys look after your mates? I'll call them up, ask what's going on, is anything happening bad, do you need any help? You just have to know that you can be there for them and I think that's just a really nice thing to do. I'm always there to help and listen to them. And how are you guys looking after your health and happiness right now? I'm um, going on runs, doing sport. I go for a lot of bike rides with my friends and I find it's a really good way to like talk to people while doing something active. Talking to my friends, um, eating healthy. I also like listening to music and singing. South Australia has become the first state in the country to ban single-use plastics. The ban includes things like straws, cutlery and coffee stirrers. While the new rules have passed Parliament, they won't come into effect until next year. The Oscars are getting a shake-up. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences has announced that by 2024, Best Picture nominees will have to pass a diversity test. To be eligible for a nom, movies will need to feature more people of colour, women, those with disabilities or people from the LGBTQI community. Staff at Epworth Hospital in Victoria have welcomed a new co-worker. Is it A. A doctor, B. A nurse or C. A cat? Obviously, it's the cat. Obviously. Yep, this is Elwood, and he's the perfect addition to the Epworth Hospital security team. Seriously, he even has a staff ID pass. He always works over, well, works over here, and he came home one day with just a little lanyard on and his name and all the security codes on the back. Everyone kind of freaked out a bit. Everyone was like, oh, gosh, what is that? <laughs> He leaves his house right. bright and early every morning. See you, buddy. See ya. See you tonight. Bye. And makes the long journey across the road to work. And the day begins. Once he clocks on, Elwood takes his job super seriously by manning the front entrance, patrolling the grounds and stopping for the odd nap here and there. The hospital's super grateful for all his work and even awarded him Employee of the Week not long ago for putting smiles on the faces of all the doctors, nurses and patients there. It brings a bit of happiness to everyone's day and especially patients who are in the hospital all day. It's really nice for them to come out and have a little cute animal there. Even if he is a bit grumpy when he gets home at the end of a long day. He's really lovely at work and then at home he's like, just give me my dinner and then I'll go to bed. <laughs> We're outside for this next bit because these next stories aren't just good, they're outstanding in their field. Fans of the game World of Warcraft gather every year in the Czech Republic for a three-day event celebrating their favourite RPG, IRL, or in real life. Except because of COVID-19, they've had to scrap their usual live-action battle for, well, face painting, puzzles and uh, whatever this game is. This snow leopard cub is outstanding, Lee cute. Ahava has just made her public debut at the Brookfield Zoo in Illinois. She is three months old, loves hanging out with her mum and has enormous paws that are really good at stopping her sinking into the snow. Except uh, there is no snow, not at the moment anyway. Goats, they're animals you'd expect to see on a farm or in the countryside, but maybe not in the middle of a park in New York City. We have 20 goats that are here this week helping us eat our bindweed, our mulberries, our hackberries. Goats are famously outstanding eaters and they do something else pretty well too. Poop it out as fertilizer that'll make this garden perfect for growing a bunch of um, native edible plants next spring. Well, that's all from us for today, but we'll be back again tomorrow. See you then.